Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. Starting off with an energy oracle card, Leo. What is the guidance for December 2020, please, for the sign of Leo? What does Leo need to be aware of for December? What does Leo need to hear, please, for December? All right, Leo, very nice. So we have the sun and we have rest and rejuvenation. Interesting, because the sun is your card and the um, major arcana of the tarot. And then we have the rest and rejuvenation. At the bottom, we have patience. So patience being needed at this time. There's a plan and there's a method to the madness with the universe. I always say that, but the sun is beautiful. It's about new beginnings, new opportunities, especially if you've been through a period of darkness and difficulty. The sun is like a welcome reprieve from that, especially with the rest and rejuvenation card. So it's really about new beginnings. It's a rebirth, just like the sun, um, major arcana. So new life. And, you know, the sun also represents the spring and summer. So maybe patience is needed until around the springtime into summer, even for some of you, um, because of just everything going on right now um, on this planet. So try to have patience. And this could be around maybe even your solar return. Um, but the sun is beautiful. New beginnings, the birth of something new. Um, for some of you, yeah, it's a possibility of like pregnancies um, in the future. Anything that's happy, positive. So then we have that rest and rejuvenation. So, you know, if some of you have been like hitting it hard, you may need some rest and rejuvenation. That's why the patience card is there underneath um, because this rest and rejuvenation is needed after um a period of just working really hard or being really busy even like the holiday season it can be really overwhelming um stressful sometimes so definitely some relaxation needed meditation grounding yourself um, peaceful thinking so make that a priority for yourself and that can help bring about you know this beautiful sun energy so all right, so let's pull um, one from the Archangel Power Tarot and then I'll get into the tarot cards. What else does Leo need to hear, please, for December 2020? Maybe now, you know, you're planting seeds of intention and the harvest is going to come around the spring or summertime. What guidance for Leo, please? Extra guidance for December. This is a really busy season with eclipses too, so you may be feeling more tired. All right, what does Leo need to hear, please? Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but it is about accomplishment, stability, success. Plans are working out well, professional financial success, using resources wisely. So this can be about your stability, even health, especially with the sun cards. Some of you may have been struggling with health issues and now things can be stabilizing. All right, let's get into the tarot reading. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. I'm going to be pulling six cards instead of the usual eight because I'm focusing on more Oracle cards. What does Leo need to hear, please, for December 2020? Okay, Queen of Cups. So, all right, water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But Queen of Cups is all about the feels, the emotions, using your intuition. Heart matters. else please all right so now we have the ace of pentacles very nice yeah so this can be about a new beginning and with the ace again this can be the seeds that you are planting leo 
And maybe there's a new opportunity and that's what the sun is here for. New beginnings, new opportunities. It is the beginning stages, but with the queen of cups, this can be something that's very close to your heart. Maybe starting a business. Really, that's just an example. It could be anything that's close to your heart. Nice, three of cups. Okay, so reconnecting with someone. If it's not reconnecting, this can be about allies, friendships, people who are emotionally supportive of you. This could be a person, but it is about emotional support. Happiness, good times. Okay, what else for Leo, please? Page of Wands, very nice. All right, so pages can be the message bringers. The message of opportunity. The Page of Wands is about putting in the work, about something that you're passionate about. There's excitement here. So I'm sensing a lot of that excitement, fun, happy energy, especially with the Sun card. Um, we do have the new moon Sagittarius eclipse, and that is going to be in your fifth house on December 14th. So fifth house deals with children, pleasures, what it is that makes you happy, the arts, creative work, romance, your natural house, Leo. Okay. What else does Leo need to hear, please? Two more. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. The Two of Cups. Really nice. So, and then we have the King of Cups. Um, also, we had that Gemini full moon lunar eclipse on November 30th. Gemini is your 11th house, and that deals with your dreams, wages earned from the 10th house of career, friendships and groups so there could definitely be a connection here we have the knight of cups the two of cups so the message bringers opportunities things that make your heart filled with joy and it doesn't have to be romance it could very well be for some of you it could be business matters opportunities loans um something that you've been waiting on but there is an opportunity for something new here. So, you know, if you're starting a business or something that you're starting to plant the seeds of, starting to put the work into, this will bring a lot of success, maybe around spring or summer, like I mentioned. But very nice. Two of Cups being on the same page, Knight of Cups, messages coming through, opportunities, invitations. What is the most important message for Leo? Okay, so the most important message is the Two of Swords. All right, so with the Two of Swords energy, um, maybe you're not sure how to proceed forward with this. Maybe it seems too good to be true. But the Two of Swords is um, something that maybe you have felt blocked towards in the past. I want to clarify that Two of Swords. What is this Two of Swords energy for Leo, please? Okay, Two of Wands. So maybe you're unsure of how to proceed forward with the Two of Wands. In the Two of Swords, it is two twos. So pay attention to the twos if you're getting those numbers. That is about um, harmony, stability, balance, love. So balance is important here. Maybe you're figuring out the vision right now. This is in the planning stage. So it's kind of hard to see um, completely how things are going to end up. Maybe there's a little bit of fear in proceeding forward with this, but you can overcome that fear. So I want to pull one more with that Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Interesting. Yeah, now we have the Three of Cups. So maybe there's something you're not seeing here, someone that can help you. So I would say be open to help and assistance. This can come from maybe um, a friendship level or, or something like that. Um, maybe someone from your past who... It kind of pops up, but they're here to help and support you. Or maybe this is about needing support um, or accepting the support. But yeah, this is about creating the vision. So maybe your vision isn't completely clear yet, but I feel like this is the beginning stages, planting, 
um, the seeds, figuring out the details of all that. But the two of wands is very nice because it's about being on the same page or having a shared vision. All right, so let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. So with the Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, follow your intuition. Don't let fear get in the way about the details or the logic of anything. Because I feel like that's kind of what it is, a little bit of like a head over heart thing. So yeah, Queen of Cups, use your intuition, connect with that. Ace of Pentacles. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So for, yeah, for some of you, this may be more in regards to your security, your stability, your growth, health even. Um, but the Ace of Swords is a new opportunity, is communication. The Ace of Swords is about creation or destruction. So maybe something had to end in the past for you to move forward with that Ace of Swords, but this vision here, there's a lot of vision about creating something, this sort of creation. Let's look at the Three of Cups since we have it here twice. What is that Three of Cups? Shared vision, working together, co-creating. All right, let's look at that Three of Cups. Okay, yeah, so we have the Seven of Wands. So maybe in the past, um, it's been difficult to try to co-create or you feel like you couldn't trust people for some reason. Um, with that Seven of Wands, is a little bit of resistance to that Three of Cups. So that may resonate with some of you or just a few of you. Let's look at the Two of Cups. I would say be open. Um, trust your instincts. Two of Cups, please. Okay, yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is something that is taking time. Patience is needed, but it is something that is progressing. It's progressing slowly. Slowly but surely. It's like building a solid foundation here. So really nice. Um, and let's just look at that Knight of Cups. All right, Knight of Cups for Leo, please. Follow your heart with that Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups energy. Definitely tap into that watery energy. Yeah, look at this, the sun. All right, Knight of Cups, the sun. So we have the sun here now twice. So yes, there is a new opportunity on the horizon for you. And again, things may not pick up until spring or summer, so just be aware of that. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull some more Oracle cards. One from the Angels and Ancestors. What does Leo need to hear? And then we'll end it with one from the Monology. Wow. Okay, look at this. So, yeah, there's two different cards here. Both very green and beautiful. So for some of you with health stuff, Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. This may come from someone who is considered a friend or someone who pops into your life that even maybe you've never met. But there's someone who brings you information that you need in order to help heal. So when I mentioned about some of you maybe dealing with some health issues before, um, this could be part of that, especially because the sun is a healing energy. So definitely listen to what is coming up within your body, um, but others in your life, they may bring up something that you need. Maybe it could be a, a certain food or a vitamin or something like probiotics for gut health. Um, but it could be about that. So whatever it may be, career, relationships, whatever needs healing right now, just be open to that healing information and be open to support Leo. So then we have lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Wow. All right. So the sun, growth, the rewards of your harvest. So yeah, with the lady card, that is, that's a really nice energy. Think about the sun. Without the sun, there would be no growth. Um, the sun brings growth. So if you look, she's holding the apple. It's like the little pentacle in the middle. I love that symbolism. But, you know, all the hard work that you've put in, growth is happening right now. She's like the empress, basically. So a lot of abundance, um, motherly energy and nurturing energy. Everything is rich in nurturing. Relationships, health, fertility, growth. So, yeah, all the seeds that you're planting, I mentioned that before. And now, you know, you have the fruit in here. The seeds that you plant, they don't get fruit within 
you know, a day or a week after you plant them, it takes time. So just knowing that, but this is big confirmation. All right, and let's pull one from the Moonology deck to end this for you, Leo. Wow, look at this, hold your vision, fixed moon. Leo, you're fixed, as well as Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus. So hold your vision because right now, um, this can be about being stubborn or not seeing things from an open perspective, needing to hold your vision in this matter. Um, wow, I mean, this couldn't be any more on point as to the advice here because there's that Two of Swords energy. And it's like the Two of Swords is being at a stalemate. So patience and staying power is needed right now. Uh, you know, the message is to, you know, have staying power. Um, something that is enduring, whether it's a relationship or a job, something that needs work. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. So that focuses on the work that you put in and how much you're willing to um, put into the situation. But, you know, the end of a tough cycle approaches, so things are going to get easier, but it may be the time period right now where you need to, like, really just put in that last bit of work before um, all the rewards pay off. So, again, that could be, like, over, you know, the winter time and then spring and summer, you really see the rewards here. So, yeah, I mean, that's major confirmation, Leo, really nice. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead and happy holidays. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.